little steam coming out of this one car now. He's overheating. This is, I'd worry about this at this point of the race, and uh, I just see steam too. I don't see any water. That worries me a lot. I mentioned the uh, one car, Martin Truex Jr. We saw the overheating issue. He has gone to pit road, and they're going to push him back up uh, pit road. He is done for the day, apparently, with the problems with the engine. We'll update you specifically here momentarily. Martin Truex Jr. in the garage, number one car, hood up. What happened out there? Ran out of water. <laughs> apparently, we had a clear bag on the on the grill. The guys couldn't see it you know, until we came in there under that caution. We tried to ride it out. We're pushing a little bit of water out. The gauges were 260. Um, for about five or six laps, thought it'd be okay when we got it, got in there to pit, got some water in it, got the bag off, and just was too long. It got hot for too long, I guess, and and blew up. So unfortunate. Uh, we've had a few a few good weeks here in a row, and uh, this week's been horrible. So we had a pretty good car. I was looking forward to the race. We always run well here, and I enjoy being out here racing. And uh, just unfortunate. I feel bad for these guys. They worked real hard this weekend. They've been working hard all year long. It's been a it's been a tough year, a lot of this kind of stuff, just a lot of bad luck for us, and kind of kind of glad to get it all behind us here. Thanks, Martin. Good luck in Homestead. Now, for more on this issue, let's go to Tim Brewer at the Chevy Cutaway car. Thanks, Shannon. What actually happened, when the grill got plugged up, water temperature goes up, but the water pump right here, the first thing that happens, as the water level comes down in the tank, it actually puts air right here to the water pump, it cavitates, it cannot pump air, it pumps water. And when that water level went down, got below the cylinder heads into the combustion chambers, that's when the thing really boiled the water out of it, and these things have to have adequate water to keep them cooled at all times. And when you see this right here, that's just steam coming out of that overflow. That means that really there's no water left in the system. By this point, it was already too late. And when it gets to that point, the temperature gauge aren't going up anymore because there's no water to that's show only, that it's hot. That's right. That's the other thing. The gauge will only read the water temperature. It will not read steam. 